doesn't want to live with their in-laws? <laughs> so I actually do want to live with my mother-in-law and she lives with us six months of the year, but I could totally, if it were, if we were talking about my mom, no way that we would even survive two weeks in a house together. So I totally get the need for people to want to build ADUs to put parents in. Uh, but having my mother-in-law home to help us with our one-year-old has been a complete and utter game changer. Not only do I have more time in the morning to sleep, but our house is a lot cleaner too. <laughs> yeah, those are those are some awesome benefits of, of sort of having in-laws living with you. Uh, for in my instance, I would I would love to have my in-laws around as we as we start a family over the next few years. But I think having them in the backyard in an ADU sounds way better than having them inside inside the house 24-7. Yeah. I think this, yeah, Caitlin, I think this the rise of, of multi-generational living as we see every day at Maxwell as homeowners express their interest and, and tell us why they want to build ADUs, you know, we're just seeing a lot more interest in living on the same property with whether it's living with your children who are maybe maturing into adulthood but not quite ready to afford a home or don't want to pay rent in the area that they want to live or potentially near near where they grew up or uh, aging parents who are maybe uh, maybe you know on the cusp of requiring more attention and potentially more care but when you look at nursing homes and and options like that you, you figure there's got to be some middle ground here. Well, I think especially after, you know, we saw what happened with COVID, you know, the, the desire to be able to keep loved ones close and have flexibility and space for them is huge. Um, and so I think there's a lot of people, you know, second guessing what the retirement home plan looked like. And ADUs can be a fantastic alternative to that. So not only are we seeing that there's this social benefit, you know, we're seeing this big rise in multi-generational living stats across the United States. Uh, one of the statistics Gabe and I were looking at was that 79% of households that were surveyed uh, said that were multi-generational, said that they were reaping huge benefits from having extra family nearby, whether that's through childcare or helping pay bills or taking care of a pet or something like that, extra you know, hands around the house. But there's also this financial pressure that's leading to multi-generational living. Um, and so if we look, for example, we are looking at uh, Austin as you know, a city that's really rising in popularity. The average house in Austin right now to buy is $620,000, whereas the median income in Austin is $42,000. And so just to give you a sense, if you were to be able to uh, afford to buy a house in Austin at $620,000, which again is the average, you would be having to make, how much was it, Gabe? One hundred and $129,000 a year. $129,000. So the average income is $42,000. To buy a house, you need $129,000. Even if you have an, a, a household income where there's two earners, both at the average, that puts you at $84,000. You are many tens of thousands of dollars short of what you need to buy a home. And I think even though this is one particular city, this trend we can extrapolate across almost every major metropolitan city in the United States. Absolutely, Caitlin. And that's that's why we're seeing this huge rise in multi-generational living. There's the social aspect and, and COVID really, uh, to your point, really um, sort of expounded that and, and made it very clear that we want to be close to loved ones. But there's this real financial strain um, that multi-generational living really helps with. So just how widespread is multi-generational living? Well, 26% of adults in the United States right now, so just about one in four, live in some form of multi-generational household uh, housing. So, and this number has actually tripled in the past decade. So we haven't seen this level of multi-generational living since uh, I believe right around the Great Depression. So this is, wow. this is new and it's really coming, uh, sort of coming into light now. Yeah, there's some absolute shift there. So I think one of the things that can help, you know, it's nice to kind of have an eye for all the numbers, but let's talk, let's talk about how this really impacts people. We have a couple case studies from Maxible clients. And again, Maxible helps homeowners maximize their property. 
uh, by building, designing and building accessory dwelling units. So we match homeowners to, you know, uh, vetted architects, designers, design build, prefab, whatever it is that you're looking to do. And we've helped thousands of homeowners across the country realize the dream of building an ADA. Not that we play favorites with our clients at Maxwell, but these next two case studies are really, really sweet people. Uh, the first one is Nicole, who her grandmother's life was completely upended with COVID. So she was living in a nursing home, the nursing home shut down, and suddenly grandma didn't have a place to go. And she wasn't in a, a physical state that she could live independently successfully by herself. And so Nicole moved back to Los Altos to take care of her grandmother. The problem is Los Altos is one of the most expensive zip codes in the country. And so now you have Nicole, her grandmother, and Nicole's husband all living under one roof trying to take care of grandma. And so not only is this super admirable that Nicole was called forward to, you know, respond and help her grandma, but she also had her own life that she was living at the same time. And so they ended up building an ADU in the backyard. You can take a look at the tour of the unit. It's really beautiful. And this ADU absolutely, I mean, unequivocally changed her life. She was able to move into it with her husband. They live in a great neighborhood now. And buying an ADU, you know, building the ADU was the only way that they could affordably live there and help take care of grandmother at the same time. So that was really a beautiful story. And we were thrilled to be a part of it. The other case studies are in San Diego. There were three different families that we've worked with that were all wanting to build for their adult children. So after their kids graduated college, they were trying to look at rentals and rentals were so unaffordable that the parents felt compelled to help the kids with rent. And I think the conversation across all of these families was kind of like, well, what if we could be reaping the benefits of rent instead of just giving it to a landlord. And so these parents decided that they were going to build an ADU and their children were going to move in and pay them some amount of rent. And we have a ton of examples of that on our website as well. So we'll put some links in the description below and you can tour some of those units here. Caitlin, I believe one of those sons was, was paying, I was at $2,100 a month for a rinky dink two bedroom apartment in San Diego the parents decided to build this ADU, all of a sudden the all-in cost on a monthly basis is well under $1,800 a month. And the son is living in, you know, in close proximity to their parents and paying way less than they were before. So it's sort of a win-win-win in this case. And you forgot the detail that he was living with a bunch of roommates and they had a cardboard box as a dining table. So talk about an upgrade all the way around. So no matter what the reason, as these case studies and the stats exemplify, the rise of multi-generational living is upon us and ADUs are one of the best ways to do this in a way where you can stay sane, stay happy, and really enjoy having your family and people of different generations around. So if you're interested in exploring the potential for your property for an ADU and want free tools, guidance, and access to tons of articles written by Maxwell experts, head over to maxwellspace.com and we can also connect you to vetted professionals in your neighborhood so you can make your ADU dream a reality. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.